Hello everyone, this is Amritpal, founder of Amritpal Vision. Today I am here with my student of Amritpal Vision, Hem Thotawala, who is studying in TU Chemnitz. That they have contacted and given their application to one of the consultant in India, but they failed to get them the offer letter from German public university. Then they contacted me. Then, like every time, we got three to four offer letters, multiple offer letters from different German public university. Yes, the visa experience was uh, quite nice. I also must admit I annoyed you a lot for visa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, you, but I, you got it. Yeah. Yes, I did get it. Yeah. I used to call you every two or three days. But yes, I, I got the answer every two or three days. That no, the visa is still not there. Then I got a date that tomorrow morning you are having your visa appointment. <laughs> <laughs> so him, last question to you. What tips you would like to give to, to the students who would like to come to TU Cabinets? Hello everyone, this is Amritpal, founder of Amritpal Vision. Today I am here with my student of Amritpal Vision, Hem Thotawala, who is studying in TU Chemnitz in advanced manufacturing. So the fun part about Hem Thotawala and other three friends of him that they have contacted and given their application to one of the consultant in India, but they failed to get them the offer letter from German public university. Then they contacted me. Then like every time we got three to four offer letters, multiple offer letters from different German public university. And yes, now they are here and I am visiting them. Today I am visiting him. On Monday, I will visit uh, other two friends of him uh, in Engolstadt. So we'll ask him uh, the questions related to studying in TU cabinets, question related advanced manufacturing, masters in advanced manufacturing. And yes, life in TU cabinets and why Amritpal Vision they have selected after going here and there to other consultants. So him, first of all, congratulations that you are Thank finally you. here. Thank you. So tell something about uh, your course. Uh, first of all, advanced manufacturing and why you selected this course. Okay, so advanced manufacturing is... Um, I think one of the distinct courses, uh, which is quite different in this university, Masters in Advanced Manufacturing, it's a specialized course. You get four uh, profile modules to choose from. And uh, it's, it's really in interesting to uh, look at the profiles and, and uh, try to fix your curriculum according to the subjects that you like. Right. So what I did was look at the uh, subjects, looked at how they teach here, uh, what kind of things goes into play with the fundamentals and everything uh, yeah I like the course and then I applied I also applied to different some other universities but I think advanced manufacturing was I think one of the best courses that I can get here great so how's the city how's Chemnitz Chemnitz is beautiful it's, okay it's really beautiful um, what's special thing about Chemnitz <laughs> There are, a, I don't think I can compare Chemnitz with anything <laughs> to point out a speciality. <laughs> okay. But it's more of an uh, eastern part of Germany. So you don't find many English uh, speakers here. Most of the people that you con come in contact here with are G German speaking. So it is very important that you kind of try to understand German, learn German. Although it's not a necessity for the uh, advanced manufacturing course, but you are supposed to learn German. It's very important here. So it's a great, other. great tip students. So if you're coming here in Chemnitz and if you are in ma uh, advanced manufacturing or any course which is which are taught in English, you have to learn German. That's his suggestion. And I always say that German is your trump card here in Germany. Of so course. tell me about uh, your course, like how many Indians are there? Uh, what's the majority of population from which country they are? I believe majority of them are Indians uh, because it's a very, very competitive course. Um, there are other courses where you can get uh, Germans and uh, all the other kind of nest kinds of uh, nationality. But advanced manufacturing is a very, very competitive course. And yes, I think more than 50% of the people in the course are Indians. Mm -hmm. Then you have, uh, after Indians, you have people from Iran, Syria and from other places. So but it's a diverse population. Yes, it's a diverse population dominated by Indians. Great. So tell me, uh, your living expenses here in Chemnitz, how much you spend? Uh, it's 
a bit subjective because you are not sub when when you count monthly expenses you are not only supposed to count what you spend every month but you also sh should count in advance all the expenses that are that that will be lump sum mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. so i paid 220 euros of rent then uh, 104 euros insurance mm -hmm. um then food and everything is around 100 150 euros but then there is radio tax which comes every 6 months uh, which is <laughs> 18 uh -huh. euros a month okay we're, i don't know why i'm i'm paying the radio tax but we are supposed to pay that mm -hmm. then there is semester fee semester contribution that is uh, 270 euros for that every 6 for months for every 6 months okay so we have to account everything in monthly expenses and it comes down to around uh, 600 euros 600 600 euros, euros per month per month okay so what about other students are they uh, they doing part time jobs yes, yes part time jobs are available it's easily available here not as easily if you if you understand german and if you are comfortable with it yes you will get a part time jobs easily and it also depends on what kind of job you want okay. if you want to work in mcdonalds or something it's highly competitive there because obviously in in summer they need more people in winter they don't need so many people mm -hmm. and again in summer there there are students who are applying for the part time jobs so those kinds of jobs have higher competition then you can do some jobs in packaging and those kind of thing but yes you can you can get a job it's not that difficult but german is important here german again german is a trump card okay tell why you contacted amritpal of vision <laughs> <laughs> i guess because i was frustrated okay <laughs> from the uh, previous experience that i had um i did not it wasn't that i lost hope or something but i was just too much frustrated with the kind with the with the kind of service that i was getting okay because it's important that i should be enthusiastic if i want to study uh, in germany or anywhere out of the uh, out of my country i am supposed to do the research but i need to get the support exactly which i wasn't getting enough so that was really hard for me okay and when we took your application when we took your case yes so how was it like how smooth was it 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 was smooth it was unexpected that it would go smooth especially <laughs> I, i had honestly i do, did not have any ex uh, expectation at that point of time uh, uh, you came to me uh, you told <laughs> i tried this many consultant but the last hope is you <laughs> and you given given your application visa application and all that stuff yes. so how was it how in how many days you got the visa how was your visa experience with us yes the visa experience was uh, quite nice i also must admit i annoyed you a lot for visa <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, you but I, you got it yeah. yes i did get it i yeah. used to call you every two or three days but yes i, I got the answer every two or three days that no the visa is still not there then i got a date that tomorrow morning you are having your visa appointment <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when something. when he applied for visa there were uh, there were many you know uh, difficulties to get the visa appointment and then to we managed to get his visa appointment on time before his application before his course starting and then yes he uh, managed to stay in india because his first semester was completely online and then he came here and i directly came from berlin to uh, to chemnitz to specially meet him because i was not in uh, chemnitz before many of my student have studied here past year uh, in same course in advanced manufacturing they are working in germany some are working in netherlands too so i i was you know uh, i was uh, very much excited to meet him here in chemnitz because i would uh, i would be very grateful to see him here because we are uh, we amrit we at amrit pal of vision we always believe to give you know good services and a personalized services because no one goes to you know to each student uh, in all the countries of the world to meet their student because i am going to 100 plus universities of the world just to meet my student to see how they are living what they are spending and their ground reality of living abroad so today i am in chemnitz him will show us the tu cabinets campus especially his classes where advanced manufacturing classes are taken so him last question to you what tips you would like to give to to the students who would like to come to tu cabinets well first of all uh, try to learn german uh, if possible learn at least two levels from india at least two the second tip is um, uh, the accommodation so 
book your accommodation one or two months in advance before coming here because uh, otherwise you won't get rooms the it's it's difficult to get rooms here in student and work on time on time mm. exactly um also uh, lo uh, on the websites of student and work you you can easily uh, apply that's not a big deal and you can find the kind of room that you want you can do the application uh, and the last thing is uh, research on your own and try to get the best guidance that you can great so please take care of the steps because we want you to learn from the students who are studying here, who are living here. So guys, see you soon here in Germany. And if you would like to study here in TU Cabinets, you can always contact Amrit Palo Vision. And as you know that I'm on a world tour, I will be traveling to 100 plus universities of the world where my students are studying. So Haim was not happy with his private uh, previous consultant. Then <laughs> he has contacted us and now he is in Germany. So if you are stuck somewhere, if you don't know anything related to Germany or if you are in any hurdles, you can always contact me. My name is Amrit Pal and our YouTube channel name is Amrit Pal of Vision where you can get all type of content content related to foreign education. So subscribe it and yes, see you soon in Germany. Bye-bye. Take care.